High capacity bandwidth in East Africa has been a long time coming. The 13,000 km C cable system SICOM finally came live with great promise of lower cost, fast internet connections, and even greater data transfer speeds for the many landlocked countries in Southern and East Africa. Internet service providers such as Jamii Telecom and Access Kenya have already begun laying terrestrial cables to connect to the undersea cable. If you look at the fiber optic cables that uh, have landed or are about to land on the East African coast, they offer two sets of distinct benefits. Um, benefit number one is technical and benefit number two is commercial. On the technical side, uh, most of East Africa, or actually most of Africa has been depending on satellite connections to be able to get bandwidth uh, for internet use. Um, the problem with satellite connection is that it's expensive. Um, it's unstable because um, it's affected by things such as weather um, and such other factors. From the commercial side, um, the expense of satellites means that we cannot afford to have too much bandwidth. So we have almost been left behind by the technological revolution of the internet. So what the cables enable us to do is one, get much, much higher speeds at much better prices and uh, the speeds that we're getting and the sort of connection that we're getting off the fiber cables is very, very stable. Kenya Data Networks, a leading network infrastructure provider, has announced a quadruple capacity offering for its clients. We have decided on top of reducing it by 90%, we give the capacity four times more than you're paying for. So we drop your price by 90% and then we tell you whatever you're paying now, I give you four times more. What's been happening now is that the debate has been going on about how low should prices go, how fast um, should we get to this low price, and what would the impact be on the consumer end of things and on the provider end of things. Um, some have decided to lower the top end price, so you actually see a lower bill at the end of the month. Some have decided instead of seeing a lower bill, you'll actually see a better service. And a lot of uh, ISPs have been going with the latter, simply because one, it shows you the power of the internet, that you can actually do a lot more that, with the internet now that you used to be able to do with it. And secondly, because most ISPs have sunk costs and it would not be possible for them to lower prices too drastically because what that would mean is that they'd simply go into losses. Market analysts as well as network providers attest to the possibilities this greater bandwidth capacity presents to Kenyans. You'll see the economy changing. Um, the economy will change from a perspective of new industries being set up like BPOs, which depend on um, having... Um, a lot of bandwidth at a good price. So you'll see people setting up BPOs and not just to service foreign markets, but also to service local markets. If you imagine companies that do not have call centers but need to have their customers calling in, it's going to be very easy for you to set this up and use uh, voice over internet to be able to service these customers. But it also means for the normal Kenyan worker, we'll see a change in how they work. Because if, for example, you can be able to have um, a voice conference sitting in your home, you need not get into traffic to be able to go to work um, every single day. You can be able to do a lot more work at home, you can be able to interact with um, your colleagues, you can be able to interact with your customers, be able to interact with other people that you work with sitting in, a, um, in any location. And so you'll start seeing changes in this respect. In an effort to encourage local content and greater penetration in the Kenya internet space, Kenya Data Networks has developed a platform for free access to the internet. The idea is to inevitably have a delivery platform for all the people with creative ideas but with not very deep pockets to come, I have a great idea, plug me into this butterfly lifestyle and make sure that you can deliver the service to the potential customer of mine. As a team's cable that links Mombasa on the Kenyan coast to Fujairah in the United Arab Emirates and the easy cable await completion by 2010, East Africans hope that competition will go a long way in stabilizing prices as well as raise the standards of ICT infrastructure as the continent positions itself to take advantage of the ICT boom. We hope that once these cables have landed, they, have start, they start being used and they start taking advantage of what's called uh, the National Fiber Project, which is where fiber is going to every little corner of the country. Then you'll start seeing a huge revolution in terms of how we actually conduct our day-to-day -day life. <laughs>